I started all of this on January 14th in 2007. All right, was at the Zion Town Hall meeting. All right, like I said, Governor O'Malley approved this in 2006, November 29th, before my son was murdered. I gave the Secret Service everything, United States Secret Service. That's Governor O'Malley, that's President Barack Obama, that's Ms. Mossberg. That's the Illinois case, that's the Maryland case, and that's the Illinois case. And that's the Get Shorty program. This is about the phony bomb threat. And this is about my media and my movies that I got out and coming out. This is a certificate of identity for the FBI because I'm following the Freedom of Information Act. I'm ready to file these papers with the Supreme Court. It's called the Whistleblowers Act. I'm blowing the whistle on the courts. Dwayne G. Davis, Falls Road, 2007. Like I said, I've been doing this movie for a long time. This is a follow-up letter and closes a videotape dated 2010 elections. This includes tapes, phone calls to Melissa. I followed her instructions in the whistleblower's report concerning the courts. It's not an easy task. It's certified notarized, and it's a copy to the NAACP, Eric Holder, the ACLU, President Obama, and the Speaker of the House, Boehner. Because like I said, I was making a movie about the Senate and the Congress. That's the Office of Governor O'Malley, the Minority Affairs. All right, so it ain't no misunderstandings. And like I said, I was making a movie, and that was a movie, it was about this TV set. It was about Kilpatrick. It was about the NAACP. It was about 92Q and Radio 1. It was about the Baltimore Ravens. It was about the work I do in the community. And this is a Rob Fix production. Getting ready to file this in Towson. It's a writ of mandamus. It's about my property. Don't get my property back, like I said. It's a book and a movie. So about the 2010 elections, the politics with Hillary Clinton, Robert Gates, John McCain, Michael Steele. Because I worked for Michael Steele. I helped raise money for Michael Steele. And I'm a black Republican, and the Republicans don't like me in their party. Democrats don't like me neither, so I'm a nomad. All right? It says right there, like I said, Rob Fix production. Back from a visit, Rob Fix came to see me. All right, that's on page 57 of the Jailhouse Diary. All right? He was in Hunt Valley for an interview as a prop master for a movie with Danny Glover, Common. It's the Urban, Urban Chronicles. That was for the movie Love with Charles Dutton. All right? Commissary. Like I said, we was making a movie. And the movie, and this toilet was a prop. And when it's about the prison industry. And if you go over on 33rd Street in Greenmount, you'll see this picture there. The man that made this picture did my character for my, he did my characters. For what I got. That man did that character. Because we're friends. This was in the penitentiary. Blacks have created an extension of the ghetto. And that was from college. And it talks about the issues that affect our community. Talked about civil rights. Talked about me. School certificate exceptional score on the Constitution examination. That was in 1986. Like I said, been making a movie and a documentary for a long time. And that's the White House. That's Michael Keller, assistant to the president, director of presidential correspondence in 2009. All right? I am not satisfied. So what I'm going to do is I'm sending this to the Supreme Court as a whistleblower that. Get all videos from Governor O'Malley, and that's evidence. That's the letter from the White House that you just read, and that's from Eric Holder. That's Max Fletcher. That's the Washington Post. That's, man, that's a lot of people. And it says, I received a Baltimore County police officer. You need to get the story straight. Schellenberger's trying to pull a jip, all right? And it's all there. October 2009. It's the whistleblowers at. And like I said, that's the Eric Holder. Senator Obama has requested my grievance. I sent you federal investigation, federal violation, internal affairs, Department of Corrections. You answer to higher ups. All right, this is my whistleblowers act on the courts. And like I said, Frank Conway got all this. And this been at the toilet, been at the city hall a long time, a whole lot of times. All right. So get the story straight, because this is going to the Supreme Court, the Whistleblowers Act. 
I'm blowing a whistle on the court in Baltimore City. We're going to have an audit on your financing. On this money that y'all spending down in the inner harbor and leaving the city in blight. For justice and public official accountability. It's the grand jury movement. And you're going to do it with these cases. So see you in court.